Hi, and welcome to the Advent of Code 2024. We have arrived at the Ceres Monitoring Station. Our search for the Chief Historian has been interrupted by an elf who needs help with her word search. Let's see if we can help her. Good morning! We're the guys from Germany. I'm Marcel, and I'm here with Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello, Marcel. Hello, Achim. And Achim. Hello, Achim. Hello, Frank. Hello, Marcel. Hello, world. Today well. it's the fourth day, and it's, well, word search. Um, I was never particularly good at word search, uh, but perhaps Achim can tell me how he solved it. Yeah, so we are presented with uh, an input data like this. I show the real input I got in a minute. And we have to find the string Xmas, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. So here's a little example, and uh, a diagonal Xmas might be like this. And a horizontal might be like this or like this. And here's a vertical from the, from the down up. So we have eight directions in which the string Xmas might be hidden inside here. And for the real puzzle input, it looks like more like this. It's a bit bigger. <laughs> so for part one, I decided to just go through the input, find any occurrence of an X, and then from that point forward, uh, look if there are any occurrence of the string mass attached to it. So, I go through the input line by line, and um, directly search for the X. And if I find one, I go into it and uh, go on to the next one. And have this method to find the, the substring MAS. And I have implemented this for any of them, these eight directions. So essentially, I look if uh, the next character is an M, then the A, then the S. with uh, and in each case with appropriate guards to not run out of bounds and run into crazy exceptions yeah that's it for part one part two is a fun thing because the elf uh, thinks uh, that you somewhat misunderstand the assignment so what you really have to find is a crossing of two strings of mass. And I found out that is far easier to implement because, well, you still have to, to search for some start point. I decided to go for the A because it's in the center of that structure. Mm -hmm. And then I only need to look uh, in the corners, the up right, the up left, down right, down left. And uh, so I essentially test for the two bars of the X. Either one, co one corner is M and the opposite one is S or the other way around. And if that is so, I can score a one or not. That seems pretty simple. Uh, did you have any trouble with this uh, puzzle um, today? I had, uh, I had uh, a little sign sign signage error in the first part, but uh, using one of the examples as test data helped with overcoming that. It was actually unexpected smooth. <laughs> That's nice. 
didn't work so well for me today, but uh, I guess it's uh, a little bit different every day and I'm glad it worked out for you. So thank you for sharing your solution and um, I hope to see you all t uh, tomorrow and goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you.